In the world today, we hear so much about human rights, the dignity of human life, the freedom of expression, the freedom to live according to how we want to choose to live. No one should deprive us of this freedom and every life is important. My dear brothers and sisters, do you really believe what the world is championing? Dignity of life and freedom. There is so much hypocrisy, inconsistency in what the world is saying and what the world is doing. If the world is really, truly championing the dignity of human life, then they will protect every human life. What we have today is, there are so many people promoting human rights, but the world is not consistent like the church. Although they ask death penalty to be removed, they are promoting abortion. Even at birth, they are promoting euthanasia. They are promoting IVF that discard all the embryos. They assassinate people, the enemies that they do not like. They are arming themselves. Instead of disarmament, they are promoting armament. And that is why every country is spending millions, billions of dollars to arm themselves because the other nations are arming themselves. And then they say, oh, we have no money for health care, no money to feed the poor, no money to make the lives of people better because half the budget goes to the arms. There is no poverty in this world. It's because we are promoting killing what do weapons do? You can't eat the weapons. Weapons only can kill and destroy. So the world is not consistent. Don't believe that the world values human life. The church, yes. The church promotes human life from its conception until death. Every stage. The church is consistent, not the world. Again, the world today, they are championing freedom. Freedom at all costs. Freedom to do whatever they want. Freedom to spread fake news. Freedom to glorify violence. Freedom to divide people. Freedom to destroy families. Destroy marriages. Freedom to take drugs. This is the kind of freedom the world is promoting. Freedom to say whatever they want to say. Freedom of speech. But if you are not of the same mind as them, they will attack you. They will burn down your house. They will burn down your cars. They will burn down your shops. What freedom of speech are we talking about? If you disagree, you will be discriminated. You will be penalized. This is not real freedom. There is no absolute freedom in this world. The freedom to promote pornography, promiscuity. This leads to the destructions of families, but they call it freedom. My dear brothers and sisters, who can teach us true meaning in life, real respect for dignity of life, and real freedom? Jesus. That is why the church has always recognized the dignity of human life. Everyone, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are healthy, whether you are sickly, whether you are just an embryo, or whether you are a full-grown person, the church protects life. Every human life is sacred to God. But you see, the world manages life in terms of economic value, utility. The world puts economics, profits, 
before the human person. The world say, oh, so much poverty. Do you know that thousands of crops are destroyed every year because of oversupply? So much food is wasted. Tons of food is wasted, even in Singapore. And we say, oh, people are very poor, got nothing to eat. That is not true at all. We are bluffing ourselves. Because we see people in terms of value. If he has no value, he does not deserve to live. Those who promote euthanasia, you think it's just only, oh, for those who are going through unbearable pain, so I have compassion for them, let us help them to end their life. It might be true for some people, out of mercy, but euthanasia is also used to ensure that those of you who are no longer productive, those of you who are mentally, physically challenged, those of you who are sickly, you don't have a right to live. You are taking up space, time from us. It is your duty, please. You should end your life because you have no value. That is what the world is doing. Same for IVM. Oh, I want to have a baby. So I got 10 embryos. The other nine we just kill. One will survive because I want it. Not because we really love lives. If we really love lives, all 10 embryos will have to be fully fertilized and be given birth. How can we treasure one life over nine other lives? We must be consistent in the principles that we stand for. If we really want to promote life at every level, if we want to promote freedom, true freedom, otherwise we are liars. Otherwise we are just making use of the principles that we hold, and they are not principles at all, in order to justify what we are doing. Only a man of integrity will find true happiness in life.